Tourism is an important part of a country's economy. It forms the core for the development of every country. In Ghana, the tourism industry has experienced a dramatic turnaround since 1966. In year 2000, this phenomenal grew further deepened. The number of tourism visits from 2006 to 2010 shows a steady increase with an average growth of 17%. For instance, in year 2012, the tourism industry contributed 7% to Ghana's gross domestic product and this created 300,000 direct and indirect jobs in that same year, thereby reducing poverty rate in some communities. This feat goes to emphasize why the tourism industry was ranked among the top 10 tourism destinations in the world in 2012. With the potential to create more jobs, reduce poverty, create wealth and preserve the country's culture, frantic efforts are being made by the Ministry of Tourism to highlight all tourist sites in the country. We have a reception where everybody enters from before you get into the facility. You pass by the reception. That's where you pay your entrance fee. And you are supposed to demand a receipt, an official receipt, for every payment you, you, you do, whether your entrance or for photography. Now, if people want to do programs here, they pay for before they do it. It depends upon what you come to do and where you're coming from. You know, yes. And uh, photography fee is 20 cities across, whether Ghanaian or non-Ghanaian, 20 cities across. And uh, for filming, it's a, it's a different charge altogether, yes. Though some have gained more popularity than others. One of such, which has not gained much popularity and media attention, is the mystic stone of Lairanga. Lairanga is a Muslim community located in the northern region of Ghana about 6 kilometers southwards of the Mole National Park and 21 kilometers away from Damongo, the capital of the West Gonja district. With a population of about 1,500 inhabitants, predominantly farmers, their produce comprise of yam, millet, sogum and maize. In this hospitable community, where the rich Ghanaian culture is exhibited, is located a sacred stone known as the Mystic Stone. Also known as the Wish Stone, the history behind the stone is quite an interesting one, that many wonder how the stone gained its popularity and name. Idi Saka, who is the spiritual father of the sacred stone, explains to the ZTV crew the dreadful story behind the stone. Yeah, yeah, papa, no, when the road was being constructed, the mystic stone was taken away. But the next day, it was found at the same spot. And this continued for three consecutive times and was finally left there. With over 50 years of experience, Idi Saka also tells the team that the Mystic Stone has some additives and privileges that the individual enjoys when one gets closer to it. If you are sick and you touch the stone, it can heal you. And if you are in need of a child, it can help you get one. The stone also helps to solve financial problems. He further highlights some defects that the wish stone possesses when not handled properly. Till date, the mystic stone remains in the same place, and it's reported that due to the ancient story surrounding the sacred stone, there are no horses in Laibanga, and anyone with intentions of war cannot pass through Laibanga, mainly due to the protection from the stone. <laughs>
ebia mukwa hu boku moa obe hu ni dini tem no wen tukwa wura waku waku ntukwa ntukwa no bwale se de sa abedura samuri turi was a fierce warrior and came to our land to fight when he was about entering larbanga the legs of his horse sank into the earth for three days our elders later performed rituals to free him and asked him to go back to where he came from Many tourists who visit the site have the tendency of their wishes coming true. So if you are one of such who is badly in need of a wish to be granted, do well to visit the sacred stone in the northern region of Ghana.